Hello, this is Moon and in front of me is a Matura pump lock. It has really cool key. It is Italian made and the details on how it works inside I will be showing in a different video. Here, or actually, I do it already there, it's already uploaded. And here I'm just going to pick this interior cylinder. The exterior one is the same, just has this massive shroud making the tensioning quite um, quite a bit harder, so I just don't have a tension tool. Otherwise, they are the same internally. So I will go for that one now. And um, let me show that the key works. turns very nicely, there are no actual guts operating the bolt inside, so nothing turns, just the cylinder. And yeah, let's see how the picking goes. I will zoom in just a little so that you see the... Hopefully you will be able to see as much as I do. I'm using this tensioner here because it's it's from multi-peak and seems to be quite a bit more rigid than a no-name one I also have um, and this thing needs a lot of tension so uh, rigid tool is quite important so at first I don't really apply tension just enough that I uh, don't drop the tool there is only one slider that is sprung. So at the very start everything is sprung and goes there and back. But as soon as you set the first one, and the first one is always the biggest one, so I'm not sure. The, the one that is the third from the left. It's a bit higher and it always engages first with the key. And it is always the first, oh I know I'm dropping the tension tool. It is always the first to set. So I will first set it. And only then I will really apply tension properly. And especially this one, this one slider, it's tapered so combined with strong spring I try to set it a bit deeper and then let go really carefully so that it doesn't move the, the sidebar back again and now the next one it's really needs very careful Just slight touch to see which one goes a little bit harder than the other. I guess it's this one. Nope, it is not. So let me reset it and start over. And it happens quite often due to the strong spring being there. It just masks the binders really well and can even do that there is none. And when it kind of... Uh, it's a really strange feel, so there is a um, kind of Uh, what's the word for it? Friction between the sliders and the spacers between them, uh, which is barely noticeable, but when it's binding, there is a friction, of course, between the slider and the sidebar. 
and then just when you're slowly pushing it down at some point just kind of you feel like you you step into a hole there is nothing there anymore i think that one is not binding oops that might have been too much but let's see that isn't binding that might be yeah well, let it be for now I probably overset something already. Yeah, that one was... Oh! Wow, and it's open now. Cool, I didn't expect it will happen that easily. But here we go. Motura pump lock. Open on camera. Let's make 360 and then got it. really not so hard and I left it on the housing pretty much just to so here is the housing let me turn on my light again Here is a sidebar groove and the rest. Let's put that aside. And here is the key, the core. sidebar so to show when the key is inserted you see the longest one that one will engage first it's a third from this time from the right it's the biggest the sickest uh, I guess in order to <laughs> be able to push the spring and now you see it also being pushed back first and only when it's released then the other slider start moving down and yeah when the key is inserted fully the sliders arrange and the sidebar can drop down let's take it completely apart and have a look at the sliders Okay, so this clamp is just holding everything together, including the spacers so that they don't move. And that's the spring. It's like you can really train your fingers with it, it's incredible. The plunger that pushes the sliders down. And the front plate with a notch for key orientation and the actual sliders Let's take them out. Mm. 
and show how they look. All right. So number one is a spring holding the packet together. Two is a slider, spacer, slider, spacer, slider, spacer, slider, spacer, slider, spacer, slider, and another spring. So that's how the spring hold it all together. The sliders just to provide the friction. They are all the same, a bit thicker than the springs. Here are the three, four, five sliders that kind of engage in the second step, and the thicker one that um, that engages first and really pushes the spring. Well, it has to be stronger. and the notch that gives this tapered feedback yeah so that's pretty much it thank you for watching